A lady was flying on top of the White Demon Castle, and she was calling the man below her, who was out of breath, White Demon Saint Chen Bai. She remarked that his failure in the mission had put her in a very bad mood, and she instructed to go to hell. Chen Bai was surprised when he heard what the lady stated. He asked the lady who was the Lady Goddess of Darkness to wait, and he requested that she consider his past accomplishments to give him another chance. But the Lady Goddess of Darkness declared that lowly humans have no right to request opportunities, so his white demon castle would be obliterated along with the darkness. The darkness started to rise from below and began consuming the white demon castle. Chen Bai groaned in pain as the concrete floor he was standing on began to crumble. As he fell into the darkness, Chen Bai protested that he had completed nearly a hundred tasks for the Lady Goddess of Darkness, but just because of one failure, he was going to be wiped out. Chen Bai's body began to disintegrate, and as he realized that all of that was happening just because he was a lowly human, he vowed that he would refuse to accept it, and that he wouldn't submit. While the concrete was falling towards a pool of water, Chen Bai was floating in it and laughing. He was laughing hysterically, although only the top part of his body remained. Chen Bai called Lady Goddess of Darkness, Haloise, the Dark Ditch, and as he gave her the middle finger, he taunted that he would duck her, but Haloise simply stomped on him to submerge him in the water. Chen Bai continued to disintegrate as he kept falling deep into the water. There was endless darkness, but suddenly, the hard glass hanging by his neck began to glow. It seemed to have begun sucking in energy and reversed something. Suddenly, Chen Bai sat up from a bed while still getting the middle finger and cursing. Chen Bai was surprised when he noticed something different. He was surprised that he was not dead, and as he looked around, he realized that he was in the dorm from his college days, so he wondered how he ended up there when he was killed by the ditch Haloise. Chen Bai pondered that the decades of trial felt so real, so he wondered if it could have been a dream, but suddenly, he noticed the hour glass hanging by his neck. That hour glass was the item he obtained 20 years after the arrival of the Universal Will when the trial began. It was the most unique item Chen Bai had ever seen, as it couldn't display any attributes and couldn't be destroyed, so he always kept it with him, and he remembered that the sand was at the bottom, which wouldn't flow even if turned upside down, but currently it was at the top. Chen Bei realized that the sand was flowing back and time was reversing, so he checked on his phone to see what the current time was. It was June 5, 2032, ten days before the arrival of the Universal Will and the start of the trial. Chen Bei recalled that ten days later, on June 15, the Universal Will would officially arrive and begin the trial, which would kill more than 90% of humanity. The deceased humans will turn into various zombies and monsters, all conventional weapons will fail, and the world will witness its demise in just one night. However, along with the dangers of the universal trial come opportunities because those who survive will awaken innate abilities, and many magical equipment and items from various copies will also descend to Earth along with the universal will. Those good things even attracted a god who controls the rules of the universe, and those gods cannot directly intervene in the trial, so they attract humans under the guise of protection in an attempt to gain benefits from it. Chen Bei recalled that in his previous life, he was not strong enough, so after paying a lot, he finally joined under Helois's command. He desperately completed the task she assigned to him to try and enhance his status, but he never expected to be erased just because of one failed mission. Chen Bei was checking his phone, and people were posting questions about whether they saw a new type of rabies or zombies from a movie because patients at Jiangsheng First Hospital were going crazy and biting people, and another person posted that it was unbelievable because a body in the middle of forensic dissection at Jiangsheng Medical Examiner's office woke up. After seeing them, Chen Bai asserted that at that time, he must become stronger, strong enough not to rely on anyone or any god, but he corrected himself as he claimed that he would become strong enough to crush even the gods under his feet, so Halois should just wait. A few moments later, Chen Bai arrived in a hospital, and he was recalling that ten years after the trial began, Someone claimed to have discovered the only way to upgrade innate abilities, and he mentioned that ten days before the trial began, the innate abilities actually became effective, and if one discovers and utilizes their innate abilities, they could upgrade them. Chen Bai entered the hospital, and he remarked that in his previous life, his innate ability was E-rank virus resistance, and according to the method, he explained that in order to upgrade his innate ability, he must use the virus to trigger and strengthen it in advance. He eavesdropped on a doctor standing in front of a patient's room who was discussing with a nurse about such strange symptoms that were truly unprecedented, 
and the nurse observed that she felt like the patient was just like in the movies. The doctor and the nurse left. Inside the room, a patient was tied up. His mouth was also gagged, and his veins were popping out of his skin while his eyes were completely white. Chen Bai was standing beside the patient, and he confirmed that it was indeed a zombie. Grabbing a syringe, Chen Bai prepared to insert it into one of the zombie's veins, and he stated that to utilize and train his virus resistance innate ability, he could only rely on him. He inserted the syringe and began drawing out the purple blood of the zombie. When the syringe got full, Chen Bai pulled it out, and he asserted that those should be enough for him to trigger his innate ability. A few moments later, Chen Bai came back to the dorm, and as he pointed out that no one was around, he mentioned that he knew they had stayed up all night. Taking out the syringe, Chen Bai nervously looked at it, and he speculated that if that theory was wrong, he might just die there. But he decided to just forget it, and as he injected the liquid into his arm, he recalled that before the reset, he struggled for decades as a weakling, barely surviving until he finally made some progress. While he was groaning in pain as his veins popped out of his skin, Chen Bei reflected that if he awakened an E-rank innate ability again that time, even if he knew the future, he would miss opportunities due to being too weak, so he might as well just die at that moment than to start over and still be weak. Chen Bai suddenly collapsed on the ground, and he was gasping for air. Suddenly, Chen Bai came to a place filled with voids, and while he was on all fours due to pain, Helois appeared in front of him. Helois was encouraging Chen Bai. She urged him to give up resistance and embrace the darkness because as a lowly human, being part of the darkness is his most fitting end. Chen Bai was having a hard time as he tried to call Helois's name. He gathered all his energy and vowed that he would conquer her, so there was no way he could fall there. Back in the dorm, Chen Bai was standing on the balcony and he seemed like an empty vessel. Suddenly, the door to the room opened, and as Chen Bai looked behind him to see who it was, his face looked like the patient in the hospital, and the three men who just entered the room were all horrified when they saw it. Chen Bai started walking towards them, and they were prepared to fight for their lives as they inquired what was going on. They called Chen Bai's name, and suddenly, Chen Bai came back to his senses. There was a moment of awkward silence between the four of them as Chen Bai tried to process the situation. Chen Bai casually questioned the three of them rhetorically if they were back. He went into the bathroom and announced that he would go wash his face, but the men looked skeptical. As he entered the bathroom, Chen Bai stood in front of the door for a moment. Chen Bai suddenly stood in front of the mirror with a big grin on his face as he proclaimed that the theory worked and was correct as the zombie virus didn't kill him, which meant that his innate ability had been upgraded successfully. He began to wonder what level his innate ability would be after awakening. Suddenly, a light shined on him, and a voice congratulated him on being selected as a pioneer, receiving the title of pioneer and awakening in advance, and Chen Bei recognized that it was the voice of the universal will. Chen Bei realized that he had awakened, so he commanded to open the title interface. The interface showed that those who discover, utilize, and train their abilities before the trial begins could possess the pioneer title. That could increase all attributes by 5%, increase experience gained by 10%, and awaken the attribute panel in advance, and when Chen Bai saw the percentage boost, he exclaimed that it was a perfect title. Chen Bai smiled excitedly as he thought about opening the innate ability panel, and he was so excited that he broke the sink by grabbing into it so strongly. The innate ability panel revealed to Chen Bai that he was an SSS virus monarch. Chen Bai became a virus monarch, the most powerful ability in the virus element and it could absorb, utilize, manipulate, transform, and even create viruses. As he tried out his ability, Chen Bei remarked that currently he only has the ability to absorb viruses, and the range of absorption is very limited, so he needed a large amount of virus to enhance his ability, and the hospital was naturally the best place to obtain viruses. A few moments later, Chen Bai arrived in front of the hospital building. He was surprised when he noticed something. Chen Bai saw a lot of people running for their lives while asking for help as they were being chased by zombies, and they were exclaiming that it was crazy. As one of them passed by Chen Bai, he warned him that they were zombies and it was the end of the world, which confused Chen Bai. Chen Bai smirked discreetly as he remembered something. He remembered that in his previous life, he heard people talk about the names of three strange incidents that happened in Zhongcheng before the trial came, and one of them was the sealed hospital. The man who warned Chen Bai got worried about him when Chen Bai charged forward with a smirk on his face, and he observed that it looked like he came at the right time. 
Chen Bai lunged forward, and he was about to tackle a zombie in front of him. He grabbed the zombie's face and slammed it to the ground. Chen Bai used the virus monarch's talent skill, virus absorption, as he obtained the zombie virus and gained one virus point, usable for strengthening abilities, Chen Bai exclaimed that it was great. As the other zombies noticed him and charged towards him, he declared that none of them would escape that day. Meanwhile, at the hospital's fourth floor restroom, a zombie was banging in front of the stalls while other zombies followed him. A man was inside the stall and he looked so horrified, repeatedly crying out that it was over because the door wouldn't hold much longer. As the zombie in front of the stall continued to bang on the door, the man stated that there was no way out, so they were going to die. He was laughing hysterically when he turned to look at the girl behind him. The man was Director Lai, and the girl who was crying on the floor inquired what they should do. The girl was puzzled when she saw that Director Lai was trembling, and she questioned what was wrong with him. Director Lai looked crazy, and he confessed that he had been chasing her for so long yet she never agreed, so since they were about to die, he suggested that she let him enjoy himself before they went, and the girl was so surprised that she called Director Lai by his full name, Liu Feng, as she demanded if he had gone mad and what nonsense he was talking about. Suddenly, the hand of the zombie burst through the door. In a short time, the zombie broke the entire door and was about to come into the stall, and Liu Feng looked so terrified as he pleaded how it could be and repeatedly voiced that he didn't want to die. The girl was taken by surprise when Liu Feng suddenly grabbed her arm. Liu Feng pulled her and pushed her towards the zombie, using her as a human shield as he screamed and continued to proclaim that he didn't want to die. He ran towards the window while thinking about how they were on the fourth floor. The zombie chased after Liu Feng, and he looked desperate as he muttered that it was just the fourth floor. Suddenly, his body stuck out the window while the zombie flew out of it and was falling towards the ground. Liu Feng was bleeding and he was unconscious while his body hung on the edge of the window. Several minutes later, multiple bodies of zombies were lying on the ground. It was Chen Bei who defeated them, and he came across the girl whom Liu Feng had pushed towards the zombies earlier. The girl was writhing on the ground, turning into a zombie, and Chen Bei had noted that it was great as she was a medical staff member and it looked like she was just bitten. Chen Bei suggested that there should still be time and he used his skill, virus absorption, on the girl. While he absorbed the virus from the girl, Chen Bai anticipated that the military would soon arrive to seal off the place, so he needed someone who understood the hospital to lead the way. Chen Bai remarked that he would try to suck out all the zombie virus inside the girl, and they would see if he could stop her from turning into a zombie. Suddenly, the colors of the girl's eyes came back. She quickly sat up, extremely surprised, and Chen Bai announced that it worked. The girl quickly turned to Chen Bai and thanked him. Chen Bai observed to the girl that it seems that she hasn't completely lost consciousness, and as the girl confirmed that she knew what happened, Chen Bai grabbed her hand and stated that he needed her help with something immediately. The girl bashfully replied that it was no problem, but she wanted to change into some clothes first. But Chen Bai suddenly dragged her and asserted that there was no time, so she should just take him to the place in the hospital with the most viruses. A few moments later, they arrived in the laboratory. The girl explained to Chen Bei that the laboratory is where the hospital has the most viruses as all clinical samples from patients are tested there, and as Chen Bai grabbed some vials, he confirmed that those should be enough. He began pouring the viruses into a beaker, which surprised the girl, and she asked him what he was planning to do, but Chen Bai just urged her to be quiet instead of answering her question. Chen Bai placed his hand over the beaker and as he used his skill, virus absorption, he began acquiring the hepatitis virus, influenza virus, herpes virus, and HIV virus, and he gained 10, 0.79, and 10 virus points, respectively. After he finished absorbing all of that, Chen Bai contemplated the next step. Chen Bai planned to strengthen the zombie virus with all the viruses. He was given new viruses to choose from, the dark light virus, ancestor virus, T-virus and coxivirus, and Chen Bai was pondering what was most beneficial for enhancing his strength at the moment. Chen Bai inspected the dark light virus, for which he successfully obtained the core ability to evolve and devour. It increases all his attributes by 10 and his self-healing ability by 200%. He considered it, and he mentioned that it was a virus primarily focused on devouring and evolving. Chen Bai was brought back to reality when the girl suddenly alerted him that zombies were coming at the door. When Chen Bai saw the zombie that was entering the laboratory, he advised not to move from where she was. 
The girl was surprised when Chen Bai swiftly lunged towards the zombie and grabbed it by the neck. Chen Bai observed that he was faster than before and the zombie probably weighs about 150 pounds, but it doesn't feel difficult at all, so he concluded that it was a great opportunity to test his new ability on him. As Chen Bai considered what he was about to do next, the skin of his hands opened up, and a dark aura suddenly crawled out of those openings. A huge vine-like aura suddenly wrapped around the zombie while Chen Bai was still suspending him on air with one hand. The vines rustled as they continued to wrap around and devour the zombie. It was Chen Bai's skill, Evolution Devour, and the vines have completely wrapped and devoured the entire zombie. After devouring, the vines were hissing as they retreated back into Chen Bai's hand. Chen Bai was walking towards the girl while stretching his shoulders, thinking that it was very good because the absorption speed was fast and he felt some stamina recovery while the girl flinched. She looked scared, and she was stuttering as she was about to confront Chen Bai about what he just did. With the ends of the vines still rustling in his hands, the girl's eyes were filled with terror, and Chen Bai inquired what was wrong. The girl let out a deep breath to calm herself down. She expressed that he saved her, and she trusted that he wouldn't harm her, so she would help keep his secret. Chen Bai agreed, and as he extended his hand, he introduced his name to the girl, and the girl introduced herself as Suk Sin in response. Suddenly, they heard growling sounds outside, and Chen Bai questioned what it was. Chen Bei realized that the military and police had arrived, and they must have sealed off the place and were clearing out the zombies so they should leave too. At the hospital corridor, Chen Bai was dragging Suk Sin, and as he requested her to take him to the rooftop as they would leave from there, Suk Sin queried if they couldn't just leave directly because they hadn't turned into zombies. Unaware of the zombie that was hanging upside down from the ceiling, Chen Bai continued to run towards it as he insisted that he didn't have time to be isolated and questioned. Chen Bai was alarmed when he noticed the zombie hanging above him, and he exclaimed that it was bad. He quickly raised his arms to protect himself. Blood spurted out of Chen Bai's hands as the zombie clawed at it, and Suk Sin screamed in fear. Suk Sin looked so horrified as she looked at the zombie, and she queried what it was. The zombie was letting out a ferocious roar, and it looked different from the others as it was enormous. Blood splattered on the floor from Chen Bai's arm as they faced the enormous menacing zombie blocking the hall. Chen Bai seemed worried as he checked the wound on his arm, but he grinned as he remarked it was interesting because there was actually a mutant. Chen Bai wondered what kind of evolution the dark light virus would produce by absorbing it. The zombie suddenly jumped off the ground and lunged at Chen Bai from above. Chen Bai dug his feet into the floor for driving force, and as the zombie slammed its hands on the floor, Chen Bai was able to dodge it by jumping off the ground. Chen Bai maneuvered himself in the air and hit the head of the zombie while he was still mid-air. The zombie's eyes gleamed as it saw that Chen Bai was about to land behind it. It quickly turned and swung its arms to hit Chen Bai with it, but Chen Bai was able to dodge it by arching his back and pulling his head up. Chen Bai managed to land safely on the ground, and he grabbed another zombie in the head immediately. The mutant zombie bared its fangs and roared ferociously. Meanwhile, Chen Bai was absorbing the other zombie to replenish his energy, and he observed it seems that the mutant's overall quality is on par with his. Chen Bai swung his arms to attack, and he released those vine-like auras in his arm at the same time. He punched the mutant zombie in the chest, and the punch was so powerful that the mutant zombie was pushed back and crashed into the wall. Chen Bai's fist left a dent in the mutant zombie's chest, who was pinned to the wall, and Chen Bai noted it was tough. He took a step back and skidded on the floor. The mutant zombie looked so pissed as it pulled itself out of the wall. Its eyes gleamed more menacingly as it turned to look at Chen Bai. While Chen Bai was healing his injuries, he realized that what he was doing wouldn't cause any effective damage, so it was going to take a lot of time to deal with. Suddenly, someone broke the emergency with their elbow. It was Suk Sin, and even though she was trembling, she grabbed the axe that was stored inside the emergency box. Suk Sin swung the axe and called Chen Bai. She threw the axe, and it twirled in the air. Meanwhile, the mutant zombie was charging towards Chen Bai at incredible speed, and Chen Bai was alarmed when he noticed it. Chen Bai managed to dodge the mutant zombie's claw as he jumped off the ground. He grabbed the axe in the process, and he commended Suk Sin for the job well done. Chen Bai used the mutant zombie's shoulder as a stepping stone, taunted it to come in him, and urged they should finish things quickly. The claws of the mutant zombie and Chen Bai's axe clashed. 
Chen Bai managed to inflict injury on the mutant zombie with his axe's slashing attack. But the mutant zombie also managed to injure him with its claws. Both Chen Bai and the mutant zombie were moving at incredible speed as they exchanged attacks. Chen Bai took a huge step and swung the axe with all his might as he exclaimed to go to hell. As the mutant zombie charged towards Chen Bai, Chen Bai threw the axe at it. Both Chen Bai and the mutant zombie lost their balance as they collided with each other while the axe was still twirling in the air and was about to hit the mutant zombie. Chen Bai grinned, and he expressed it was surprising that it could still hold on like that. He went and grabbed the axe that was stuck on the mutant zombie's head, and he stepped on its head to help him pull it out. As he grabbed the axe, Chen Bai advised not to leave wounds unpatched and warned it to beware when its death anniversary is near. Suddenly, the mutant zombie's eyes went bloodshot, its veins popped, and it was filled with rage. Chen Bai was caught off guard as the mutant zombie suddenly grabbed him and slammed him against the wall. Chen Bai was in pain and he coughed up blood. Suk Sin was terrified when she saw what just happened to Chen Bai. She flinched when the axe fell on the floor beside her. On the other hand, while the mutant zombie dug its claws into his abdomen, Chen Bai was laughing in his mind, thinking that there was no choice but to die when one is on the brink of death, and he declared it was great. Chen Bai asked the mutant zombie confidently if it wanted to tear him apart. The mutant zombie was both startled and confused by Chen Bai's reaction. Suddenly, the vine-like aura came out of Chen Bai's abdomen and got hold of the mutant zombie's hand. The mutant zombie panicked, and it tried to pull away, but the vine-like aura was growing really fast, and it chased its arm. Chen Bai used his skill, Evolution Devourer, and the mutant zombie was alarmed as the vine-like aura had already wrapped itself around its entire body. As he hovered over the mutant zombie while continuing to release the vine-like aura, Chen Bai inquired if it was scared at the moment. Chen Bai proclaimed it was too late. Suk Sin watched as Chen Bai devoured the mutant zombie with his skill. She looked so horrified, but she still cheered on Chen Bai and applauded it was great. On the other hand, the system notified Chen Bai that the devour was complete and he had consumed a second stage clawed zombie. A few moments later, Chen Bai landed on the ground and the system notified him that the black light transformation was in progress. Chen Bai's claws turned dark and sharp and the system notified him that he had obtained the clawed zombie ability, Bone Claws. Chen Bai looked so pleased as he looked at his skills and thought about devouring and evolving. He proudly displayed his skill and asserted choosing the Blacklight virus was indeed correct. Suddenly, the military arrived in the area. They saw Chen Bai and Suk Sin, and as they pointed their guns at them, they wondered if they were living people, so they queried them to raise their hands. Chen Bai was startled when the military arrived. The military cautioned them that they would count to three, and if there was no action, they would shoot. The military began the countdown. Suk Sin was flustered when Chen Bai carried her, and he urged they should go. As the military leader finished the countdown, he immediately commanded orders to shoot. Bullets rained down on Chen Bai as he started to run away. Suk Sin advised Chen Bai to turn right up ahead as there is a safe passage that leads to the rooftop. As they continued to run, Chen Bai was hit by some of the bullets. Suk Sin got worried and she noted he had been shot, but Chen Bai just nonchalantly acknowledged he knew and instructed her not to speak or move around. A few moments later, on the rooftop, Chen Bai kicked the door while carrying Suk Sin so they could come out. Suk Sin was caught off guard when Chen Bai inquired where her home was, but she was able to inform him that it was in the Rongfeng neighborhood, North 4th Road, Nanbei Street. Chen Bai immediately confirmed that he got it. Suk Sin was startled when they began moving so fast. She screamed as Chen Bai jumped off the rooftop. Suk Sin was holding on to Chen Bai tightly as Chen Bai continued to run. A few moments later, at Rongfeng neighborhood, North 4th Road, Nanbei Street, someone was opening their door with their key. It was Suk Sin, and as they entered, she directed Chen Bai where the bathroom was, and she requested Chen Bei to let her help him clean and dress his wound, but Chen Bei replied the bullet didn't stay inside, and it was almost healed, so it was okay. But Suk Sin insisted that she had to take a look, so Chen Bai smiled and consented as he started to take off his clothes. In the bathroom, Chen Bai's shirt and jacket were lying on the floor. With Chen Bai standing in front of her without his shirt, she looked flustered, but she still tried to point out to Chen Bei that there were still traces of injuries in his hands. But Suk Sin got more flustered when she observed the injuries on his stomach and chest hadn't fully healed yet. Chen Bai questioned Suk Sin if he would recover immediately. 
He probed her what she thought and if she wanted to sacrifice herself. Suk Sin bashfully responded he wouldn't eat her because he would have already eaten her if he was going to. But Chen Bai leaned towards her and she was startled when he corrected she was wrong as he hadn't eaten her earlier because the environment wasn't quite suitable. Suk Sin was taken aback when Chen Bei ripped her clothes, stated the environment at the moment is good and more suitable, and he reiterated what she thought and if she was willing to be eaten to help him recover. Looking embarrassed, Suk Sin looked away as she requested to wash and clean her up so she would be good. Chen Bai agreed, and he quickly stooped down to give her a kiss. The two of them shared a passionate kiss under the running shower. Meanwhile, outside the bathroom, a phone was buzzing. There were notifications displayed on the phone. It seemed like the phone belonged to Chen Bai, and one of the notifications was a message from Zhao Mu asking him where he was because Song Ji, the school beauty, was looking for him, and the other notification was a message from Song Ji inquiring if he was dead because his roommate mentioned he went to Jiangqing First Hospital.